In this video, we will go through importing structures from the Protein Data Bank, the difference between selection and inclusion, and how to render your structures with a style toolbox and preset options. Let's get started. First, we're going to pull in a structure from the Protein Data Bank, or PDB. Go to File, and then Get PDB. This panel allows you to download structures straight from the PDB, with the option of including the diffraction data and the biological unit. Now type 504G and click Download. This is another crystal structure of HER2 bound to an antibody fab, and we will compare it to the 1N8Z complex. At a later step. Feel free to pause the video and navigate to rcsb.org slash pdb to find some more information about the structure that we are downloading. Another entry has been added into our entry list with the title 504G. Whenever you are downloading a structure from the PDB, a banner will appear at the top of your workspace recommending that you prepare your protein with the protein preparation workflow. For now, you can just close the banner. Coming back to the entry list, let's include entry 1, 1N8Z prepared. To include an entry, click on the circle under the column titled IN. When the circle is blue, that means the structure is included. An entry must be included in order to be visible in the workspace. Notice that the title of the entry in row 2 is highlighted. That means that it is selected. Though it is highlighted in blue, the entry is not displayed in the workspace. This is because selecting and including are two different things in Bioilluminate. A structure that is included means it is visualized in the workspace. A structure that is selected is ready to interact with. Selected items are ready for some sort of change or action. It is possible to select multiple entries while including only one, include multiple entries while selecting one, and any other combination thereof. In order to either select or include multiple entries, you can either control click or shift click. Just remember that when you are asked to include an entry, you should make sure that the blue circle is filled. And when you are asked to select an entry, you want to click on the entry name so it is highlighted. We can adjust the rendering using the style toolbox. First, use quick select, click I, so we can quickly select all atoms at a protein-protein interface. All of the selected atoms are at the interface between the antibody heavy chain and light chains, as well as between the antibody and the antigen. Come on up to the top center of the interface where the style toolbox button is. Now you can click on the CPK representation. Now all of the interface atoms are displayed as CPK in the workspace. Remember, you need to select first to be able to apply a rendering change. Now, make sure that your selection scope is set to chain. If we click anywhere on the antigen, the whole structure is selected. First, let's color the protein structure by a particular property. You can color by various atom level properties by selecting the drop down next to where it says Color Atoms in the Style Toolbox. Here you can choose a custom color scheme for your selected atoms. If you click Other Schemes, you can also color by several additional schemes, including three popular hydrophobicity scores. If you wanted to color by any other property that would be associated with the selected atoms, you can click Choose Atom Property and select from the list there. If you were to run a protein surface analyzer calculation, you can color by various aggregation profiles, including Ag score, using these steps. For this example, we are going to choose one of the default schemes, Adam PDB B factor. B factors quantify the uncertainty in the position of each atom in the crystal structure. They can therefore be used to determine regions of higher flexibility in the structure. Lower B factors, which correspond to lower uncertainty, are more blue, and higher B factors, which correspond to higher uncertainty and therefore greater flexibility, are more red. 
let's transition to adding some ribbons to the antigen. Make sure that your antigen is still selected. If it's not, select it in the workspace now. In the style toolbox, click ribbons, and you'll see that the ribbons are added onto the antigen structure. Once again, we are selecting the atoms we want to make a change to, then choosing the change we want to make. After adding the ribbons, you have the ability to change the color and representation of the ribbon. Click where it says residue position and select C alpha atom color. If at any point you would like to edit the ribbon, you can go back to the style toolbox and click ribbons to reopen the edit ribbons options. This eyeball button will toggle off and on the display of selected atoms. The next button over will display only the selected atoms and hide all others. Now, this does not mean that those atoms are deleted or removed from the workspace. They're just no longer visible. We can use the quick select P and click display selected atoms to quickly make the protein atoms visible in the workspace once again. For now, click in a blank area of the workspace to close the style toolbox. While it's useful to be able to manually change the rendering of the various structures in the workspace, there are some handy presets that you can use to apply many rendering steps at once. Presets are like rendering recipes for your structures. Different representation options are added in and applied to make a nicely rendered structure. If you click on the presets button, you can see the entire collection of preset styles in Bioluminate. Pause this video and play around with the different presets to find one that you like. Also, you can choose Edit Custom Preset if you would like to customize the default preset rendering in a particular way. We are going to use the antibody preset and choose Chothia, since it is a good way to visualize both the antibody and antigen that are in the workspace. The detected heavy chain is colored blue. The light chain is colored red and the antigen is colored green. In this video, we went through downloading structures from the PDB, the difference between selection and inclusion, and how to render your structure.